Hey everyone, this is a little bit of a helpful insight on this week's IXL. We are doing least common denominator. Remember the denominator is the bottom number in a fraction. So what I'm looking at here is the number 10 and I'm also looking at the number five that we're after. Um, least common, I need the smallest number they can both fit into. So I am using the least common denominator is also known as the least common multiple. So what I can do here is kind of list out the multiples and your multiplications are just your multiplication facts. So 10, 20, 30, 40. And again, I can list out a few of them. 5, 10, 15, 20. And what I'm checking for is what's the smallest one that they have in common, least common. So when you look at those two lists, the smallest number they have in common is the number, yeah, it's it's 10, all right? Um, so 10 is my answer here. Now, again, you don't have to list them out. One, you could actually reach for your multiplication chart, and all the multiples are listed there already for you, and you can just kind of drag your finger down to find the smallest number they have in common. Or what we really like to be able to do is use your use your math facts. Use your mind when you look at them, and you're going, hmm, 10 and 5, what's the smallest number they both fit into? Oh, they can both fit into 10. 10 can fit into 10 one time, 5 can fit into 10. I'm going to go ahead and hit 10. Oops. Hit enter. Ah, excellent. All right, so now I've got 8 and 4. So I've got 8, all right, and we've got 4. Again, if you can think of it right away, you hit enter and you move on with it. But um, eight, and I just kind of recommend listing out a few of them there if you're struggling with getting started. Eight times two is 16. Eight times three is 24. Eight times four is 32. Um, four times one is four. Four times two is eight. You know what? Hit the brakes right now. Hit the brakes. I mean, I can list out the next few of them, but I already have one that's in common. It is the smallest one, and it is the number eight. So, yeah, I can hit 8, and I can go ahead and submit it. Um, so it, when we kind of look at them, uh, do keep in mind that you don't need to have, uh, oh, my goodness here. You, you see what's going on here? I know it's got to be a better way, right? Let's just hit the undo button there. Over. <laughs> um so what we want to make sure she's doing is so um can you come up right now um, yeah yeah it's uh it's it's what yeah it is 12. so one of the things we do check for is does the smaller number fit into the bottom number? if it does we know we can use it okay so here we go something different 12 and 8. um 8 will not fit into 12 evenly 8 times 1 is 8 8 times 2 is 16. No, look for right over 12. So I'm going to take my 12. All right. I'm going to take my 8. And again, we can list out a few of the multiples 12, 24, 36, 48. Um, you can maybe kind of look at the list of numbers there and see who's going to work um, ahead of time. 8, 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3, oh, there it is, winner 24. All right. So again, the list technique does work, but if you can use the mental math, great. We'll do one more here, 4 and 10. Um, again, we can list out multiples, 4, 8, 12, 16, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40. Um, anything in common here right now? Mm, no, no. So I do need to list some more, and 4 times, that's 2, 4 times 3, 4 times Four, so four times five is a 20, and there's my winner. I can see I do have my 20. That's in common. Um, so again, mental math, great. Look at the four, look at the 10, come up with it. Yes, otherwise you can list them out or two. Just use your multiplication chart. And again, you can find your multiplication chart in your math binder or in the land of the internet. If you go ahead and simply type in multiplication chart, you'll get an assortment of them to choose from.